Hello Accounting 101 students. In this video, we're going to go over the closing entries with our end of chapter practice question number five for chapter four. All right, so in this question, we have been provided with some year-end account balances from the adjusted trial balance. So this is the trial balance that has already been adjusted. And we need to use the adjusted trial balance to put together our closing entries. So one tip I can give you is that our accounts that we need to close out at the end of the accounting period are red. Okay, so I'm going to make this really big um, for you guys to remember that our accounts are red that we need to close out. And the accounts that we need to close out specifically are revenues and expenses, and revenues and expenses are reported on the income statement for a period of time. So in order to start the next accounting period, the next month with the $0 balance, we need to close out these accounts to a $0 balance. Next, we have dividends, and we'll notice that in our retained earnings statement, we report our beginning retained earnings, plus net income, which is essentially our revenues and our expenses, and our dividends to get to our ending retained earnings, and our retained earnings statement is prepared as of a period of time as well. So we need to close out our dividends account in order to report the next accounting period with a $0 balance. One of the best ways to approach this question is to identify what accounts are your red accounts so that way you know which accounts you need to close out. So when I look through this listing, I see that this company has service revenue and rent revenue. I also see from the expenses, this company has depreciation expense, salaries and wages expense, rent expense, and supplies expense. So I'm gonna be closing out all of these accounts. And I also see that we have dividends. And at the very end, after I'm done recording all of these adjusting entries, I'm gonna see my retained earnings um, being updated. So I'm just going to know what my beginning retained earnings is before I record all of these closing entries. So I'm going to also start off by taking some notes. Um, for our closing entries, it is very helpful to draw out your T accounts. So that way you know what accounts need to be zeroed out. So I'm gonna start drawing out my T accounts, starting off with my revenue account. So I actually have two revenue accounts that I need to close out. So I'm going to draw out my T accounts for both of these accounts. I have um, service revenue. And you'll notice that your service revenue has a credit balance. I'm going to include my un my adjusted balance, actually, of 165,420. I have to make this font a bit smaller for everything to fit in, right? And I also see that this company has rent revenue. On the credit side, this will be for $55.80. All right. Um, so in my first adjusting journal, or my first closing journal entry, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make this go to zero. Okay, so if these have credit balances, you'll notice that in your closing entry, you're going to record a debit. Okay, to make this go down to zero for the same dollar amount. Um, I'm also going to draw out my T accounts. 
for my expense accounts, and I have quite a few of these. So um, it's a good idea just to draw out the T accounts. That way you can visualize um, what you need to do to zero out your red accounts. So the accounts that I have in this particular problem include depreciation expense, which has a debit balance of 11,880. I also have my salaries and wages expense which has a debit balance of 81,990. Uh, my rent expense, which has a debit balance of 32,40. And then I have my supplies expense, which has a debit balance of 1,260. So in order to make these accounts go down to zero, I know that I will need to record a credit. The last category that I have is my dividends that I need to close out. And remember, after I close out all these accounts, I'm going to be updating my retained earnings. But before that, I also have a special account that I'm going to be using for this closing process, and that is called the income summary. So I'm going to draw an extra T account just for that income summary account. And the income summary is just summarizing what is in revenues and expenses to make sure that I equal out to my net income. So I'm going to go ahead and just make an extra T account for my income summary. I know at the end of this, I'm going to be updating my retained earnings. So I'm leaving some extra room for my retained earnings. And I want to go ahead and make one account for my dividends. So my dividends have a debit balance of 23,670. So in order to close out dividends, I know I'm gonna be recording a credit. And I also wanna include in my beginning retained earnings. On the credit side, we have 55,620, and I just want to remember that this is my beginning retained earnings. All right, so now that I've set this up, I am ready to start recording these entries. So the first journal entry I'm going to be recording is going to close out my revenue. So when we close out our revenues, we're going to debit service revenue. We're going to debit our rent revenue and credit the income summary. So that's going to be the first entry that we're going to be reporting. So in my T accounts, I will include in a debit for the same dollar amount, 165,420. To make my ending balance go down to zero, I'm going to debit my rent revenue, the same dollar amount, 5580. So that way these amounts go down to zero. And in my income summary, I'm going to record a credit of 171,000. So that's the first one. 
for my expense accounts, because all my expenses are debits, now I'm gonna record credits to the corresponding columns. So I'm gonna credit each of these. for their respective dollar amounts in order to make the ending balance zero for each of these accounts. The last one I have here is supplies. I'm gonna credit the same amount. And you'll notice that each of these are gonna go into the income summary on the debit side. And so I have 98,370. So what I would do here is I would look at my total debit and credit and I would get my ending balance for that income summary and I would make sure that this balance right here is going to equal out what's on my actual um, net income on my income statement. So this should be um, 72,630 on my income statement. Once I have um, determined my income summary amount, I'm going to record a debit to the income summary of 72,630, that same dollar amount, in order to balance this out to zero. So remember your retained earnings increases by the amount of your net income. So that would be the same 72,630 represented by this third adjusting entry. And then the last um, adjusting or closing entry actually would be to your dividends. You're going to record a credit to your dividends. To make this account zero out. And you'll also remember that your dividends reduce your retained earnings. So if your retained earnings normally has a credit balance, the dividends are going to reduce it. And what you should end up with is your ending retained earnings on the credit side after all of your closing entries are recorded. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. So your very last um, journal entry is to your retained earnings. And the last thing that you can do is um, calculate your ending routine earnings, which will be the amount that's gonna be recorded on the retained earnings statement. And also the ending routine earnings will be used for the balance sheet. So I'm gonna take 55,620, that's my beginning routine earnings, plus 72,630, that's adding the net income, then I'm gonna subtract out my dividends of 23,670. So my ending retained earnings should end up with 104,580, which will then be reported on the balance sheet. And um, you'll notice that all of your revenue accounts, all of these will end up with ending balances of zero. All of your expense accounts, We'll end up with ending balances of zero. This income summary is only used for this closing process. It'll end up with a balance of zero. And your dividends will also end up with a balance of zero. And what remains from this process of doing all four of these closing entries is that your retained earnings is updated. That's going to be um, what remains from this whole entire process. Okay, so thank you for taking the time for watching this video.